We begin with the still developing news as communities in Western Mass come together to remember the three teenagers who lost their lives in a tragic car crash on Sunday. Thanks for joining us here on Western Mass News at 6. I'm Mary Wilson. Our team coverage tonight includes Western Mass News reporters Paris Dunford speaking exclusively with the sisters of one of the victims, Lexi Oliver with the vigil being held tonight, and Christian Burnell with a look at the teen driving laws here on the books in the state and what changes might need to be made. Let's begin with Lexi, who's live in Webster at a vigil for one of the teenagers killed over the weekend. Lexi. Mary, community members have gathered all week holding vigils for those four, three teens, excuse me, and friends of one of those teens set up a memorial on his desk at his high school where he attended class. Dominic Gardner was one of three teens killed in an early morning crash in the area of East Brimfield Holland Road. State police say the car swerved off the road and into the woods. Dominic was only 17. The two other teens killed were the driver, 17-year-old Vincent Artizoni of Holland, and 18-year-old Shane Douglas of West Brookfield. One other 17-year-old survived the crash. Friends and family members have already set up memorials and held vigils in their honor. I didn't realize how many people loved him like I did. Nakia Gardner, Dominic's sister, spoke exclusively to Western Mass News about who Dominic was as a person. She shared with us the photo that she took from inside Tantasqua Regional High School. Students set up a memorial where Dominic sat during class. He was studying business at the vocational school. He just finished junior year. He's about to be starting senior year. Nakia says the four teens were very close friends. And Dominic lived with his stepsister, Alyssa, for the past two years. She tells us she hopes people remember Dom for the happy kid he was. I don't want anything sad to be remembered we're we're going to do a celebration for him not a um not anything sad because he was a jokester um always around his friends and she has a message for young teens getting behind the wheel this summer always wear your seatbelt please um be careful out there live for him i i want them to live for him because he didn't get that chance now, the cause of that Sunday morning crash is still under investigation by the Massachusetts State Police. Reporting live, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News. All right.